Hello and welcome to My Stoner Kitchen. I'm your host, Nico. Wait, hold up. Is that what we're doing? For, is, I, is that the joke? Like, My Stoner, is that this? That's the shtick of the show? Well, we got weed. Weed's always funny, because it just makes people laugh. Oh yeah, weed's a good one too. Good thinking. Weed, okay, come on, this is a bit redundant. Let's read something else. Oh, yeah. How can I forget? Sex. The cooking sex. It's not good. Weed. Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, I guess we're rolling with it. So, uh, hello, welcome to my center kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making the blessed Genovesian focaccia. And guys, this isn't just any normal bread. This is, uh, you know, Italian oil bread. So it's really important. Now we do the ceremonial disrobing of the pajama robes, only to be replaced by the apron of cooking. Anthony, please do this ceremony. I will wait patiently facing this way. Two. At ease, soldier. I don't know if that's unpatriotic. I don't know. Anyways. Now, focaccia is different. Let me explain what focaccia is. Focaccia is this, and 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 this. Focaccia is an Italian flatbread that's typically similar to a pizza dough, but it does not really anything like that. Now, focaccia Genovesian, which is what we're gonna be making today, is a little bit different. It looks like this, and it's very small, thin, and little dimples. That's what's the character made of. And I mean, honestly, it's just an olive oil masterpiece. All right, so back to you in the kitchen. So as you see right here, I have a cutting board and a knife and a bunch of rusty water. But you need some more stuff. So right now, we're gonna get all the things that we need to make some killer Genovese. All right, so now that we got our active dry yeast here, first thing you gotta do is get a tablespoon, uh, a teaspoon of your active dry yeast. You're gonna put it into your mixer, your bowl, whatever you wanna call it. Next, you're gonna get some water, about a cup of lukewarm water, to be precise. And right now I'm just gonna be washing it out for a little bit, you'll see, because I had to <laughs> clean it out because I was making focaccia earlier. And now that we got our cup of lukewarm water, we can go right back in, throw it in with the yeast, and then we're going to uh, next get a little spoon or a fork, whatever you want to do, and then just beat it a little bit, you know, push it around, all that good jazz. And then that's it. Now we have to wait five minutes until we're good. Okay, so that active dry yeast has been sitting with the water for about five minutes now. We're gonna get about a cup and a half, about a cup of flour, okay? Uh, you know, all-purpose flour, bread flour, whatever you need to do. And we're gonna throw it in there with our active dry yeast and our water. So once we do that, we can, you know, get started to uh, get mixing. Yeah, sorry, I had to wait a little bit. Get the hook on and then set it up to about one or two. Um, so mine's out of five, so it's probably on the lowest setting you can do. First, you're gonna let that go for about five minutes. So while that's going on, you can get your other stuff ready. So we need to get, you know, salt, olive oil, you know, the rest of the flour that we need to do. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna do is gonna get a tablespoon of, uh, of salt. And then after you get a tablespoon of salt, it's gotta be either sea salt or kosher salt, because it's gotta be the bigger salt. It can't just be, you know, the normal iodized salt. Um, then you're gonna get a, after you're done with a tablespoon of uh, salt, you're going to get, you know, a teaspoon of sugar or honey or malt, whichever one you have. Honestly, they're interchangeable, but you're supposed to use malt, but I don't want to have, you know, use it. 
because uh, I can't find it and sugar is just so you know easy to use so it's been about five minutes now you're gonna put all the ingredients you have in there so you got your salt you got your sugar now you're gonna get your two tablespoons of olive oil in there and after you do that you just want to put the rest of the cup of um, you know flour in there but I end up putting uh, another cup and a half so I have two and a half cups in there so it's a little bit bigger of a batch than normal because I usually just do two cups but this is a was a special focaccia you know for my stoner kitchen so I really wanted to go all out for it okay, so now that we have all the ingredients in there we're going to put it to about two or three probably like a high two and then we'll switch to three in a little bit because you want to just beat it around a little bit now you also want to put a little bit of you know flour on whatever surface you're using i'm using just a cutting board over top of tabletop uh you know clay cloth as you can see because i didn't want to get on the granite and once you get it up to three you're just going to keep you know keep going until it's got a, like a, a sticky doughy you know um mixture in the uh mixer and then once you see that it is good to go, you can just take it out like so. You can just pop it out and you see right there, you're just gonna take it out and put it onto whatever sheet you have and just mix it around with the, you know, the flour. So that way it's get the flour everywhere and you can just uh, be completely, you know, surrounded by the flour and it's not sticky anymore and you can just compress it into a ball. So once you have it compressed into a ball, next thing you're gonna wanna do is, uh, you know, just get a bowl and drop a little bit of olive oil in there and then take the ball of dough that you got and just mix it around with that olive oil. Make sure it's completely surrounded and, you know, nice and like wet with the olive oil. I know it sounds kind of gross, but you know, it's got, you got to do it. Then just put like a normal old cloth over it and then, you know, clean up a little bit while you have some time. So now that we got two hours until we can do anything else with the focaccia, we might as well start cleaning. So you're going to take your bowl, all right, and you're going to put it in here. And you run some water, all right? Usually lukewarm or a little bit warmer. You just want to get it all around in there, okay? So, like, it looks like this, sort of, okay? And you want to go like that, and you're going to dump it. Sponsored by Donso. We saved the little duckies in the fucking Gulf of Mexico was covered in gas and weed. So let's look at this stupid ass focaccia. Oh, she's looking thick. Actually, not really at all. She looks exactly the same that she did an hour ago. Well, that's bread for you. Always disappointing. Okay, so it's been about two hours now, and we're about to place the focaccia on the pan. So I'm gonna get you. Know okay, so now we got the pan the beloved pan you got to put some olive oil on that pan that you're going to be cooking on and just spread it out either with a silicone brush you know a hair you know one of the brushes with you know hairs or with your hands honestly doesn't matter whatever you have available i just like using the brush so my hands aren't super oily anyways then you take the focaccia dough out and you just slap it on there and now comes the pisto resistance you're going to start spreading it out evenly across the entire you know pan so here just like this you just push it down keep going keep going keep going it may feel like you're gonna tear or rip the dough honestly it's pretty durable so don't be scared to like really manhandle it on and if you see a whole hole like that just try and cover it up and just keep going it's not in the end of the world it'll probably cover itself up when it right and you know proofs and also it's okay to have a blemish in your homemade bread i don't think anyone's actually gonna care so once it's spread out you know basically all the way across the entire pan you want to get ready and start putting the uh, saran wrap. For finishing the focaccia, you're going to need to measure out a couple things. You're going to need two tablespoons of olive oil and just put it into like a measuring cup or just any cup that you can, you know, put other stuff in. So now that you've got your olive oil, you're going to want to go and get two tablespoons of water. We got our olive oil and our water. We're going to put a hefty amount of sea salt or kosher salt into that mix. We're just going to get it you know, stir it up with either, you know, your fork or your spoon still that you used at the beginning. Just really, really, really mix it up nice and good. Honestly, I think I used too much salt for this batch, but it's okay, no biggie. While you got this going on, waiting for the proofing, you might as well preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which is what we're gonna be cooking at. 
So you're gonna take your sheet off, you know, you take your saran wrap off, and now this is where the most important part of the focaccia comes in. All right, the finishing parts. So you're gonna take your little mix, you're gonna pour all your olive oil, water, you know, and salt all over that. Take the brush or your hands, you know, get it all over the focaccia nice and looking so it looks like almost every part is covered. And then for the final part, we're getting there. This is the most important part, but I really went hefty. I wanted to make sure that every part of the focaccia was covered. And may I just say, it really paid off in the end. The olive oil, that little mix at the end, it's super important how much you use. If you use too much, you can mess up the entire focaccia. Okay, so now comes the uh, most important part of the focaccia, Genoesian, the dimples. The dimples are supposed to represent I don't even know. Just put the dimples in with your three middle fingers. You're gonna throw it in the oven at 400 degrees. This is usually best. You usually do it for about 20 minutes. I do mine for about 17 to 18. Since I have such weird OCD and anxiety, I have to clean up everything when I don't have anything to do. So it's been some time, and now it's time to take this bad boy out the oven. Oh, she looking good. She looking real good. For the finishing touches of the focaccia, all you want to do is just do the olive oil, salt, and water mixture, whatever's left over, just sprinkle it on there. Use your hands or your, you know, whatever, you know, your brush, just to spread it around, make sure it's even, and then let sit dry until room temperature. Then you're just going to want to cut it up like a champ. Wow, this is so good. This is really good focaccia. I, wow, I love this. Wow, I'm so funny. This is a good show. Wow, yeah, I like this. Wow, focaccia's good. Yum, yum, yum. Yum.